Hello, welcome back. Very excited about today's guest. Before we bring him, you, you guess, guess who, on, uh, do remember that you can support me and the show at Patreon and get a longer version of this episode and other kinds of bonus content. My name is Ashley Clements. And I'm Daniel Vincent Gord. And this is The Look Back Diary. Ding, ding, ding. I don't play with you. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh. Yikes. I remember when we first met you that I called you Daniel. And I do also still call you Daniel. But yeah. I remember that somebody referred to you as DVG. And I was like, that can't possibly like be a nickname. And I asked you, I was like, do you like being called DVG? And you said, when people call me DVG... I feel like they are my old friends who've known me since, like, high school. <laughs> and I love it. And I was like, oh, okay. DVG it is. You know, I do like it. It's, um, I had a, a manager once who was like, no, we need to make it, like, I think he wanted to make it more masculine, my name. He was like, it should be Dan Gord. Get rid of the middle name and get rid of Daniel. Dan Gord. Like, you'll book more. And I was like literally no one calls me actually that's not true a couple of people call me dan but i never introduce myself as dan those are all men's names like those are very masculine names like you didn't I even know. have one that can go both ways i mean anyone can name anyone anything names or names but if, if you're presenting like, a little gay there you know back then it was like you know you, you, since you are gay and you're presenting a little gay let's Let's cut could it you off. go by like forest? Yeah. And also, could you do some headshots with like an axe? Yeah, Buck Greenwood. How about that? <laughs> Buck Greenwood and have a chainsaw on your headshot. Do you think that things have improved for gay actors? Definitely. Definitely. It yeah. seems that way to me, but I would not dare to say like, oh no, it's better now. It's, it's, I think for a long time, most gay actors my age or older and probably younger have had lots and lots of experiences of people basically having the perspective of if I can tell you're gay when you come into a room that's a problem and lots of other teachers over the years would basically not even basically explicitly say you know if you're playing a role we can't see you as gay unless the role is gay we don't want to know that you're gay if the role isn't gay. And in fact, it's really, really bad if we know you're gay and you go in and are reading for a role that isn't gay. You can't I get remember it. that being, you know, especially in like college BFA um, programs and, you know, a lot of like, especially the poor musical theater boys getting that kind of crap from them. And, you know, one thing that also helps is that we have more diverse storytelling. So there are a lot more gay characters to play. The idea for a long time was also like, well, there, we only tell stories about straight men. So if you don't come across as a super straight man, then there are no parts for you. Yeah. And now there are a lot more diversity of roles to be had, which is definitely... I mean, the wisdom was, I mean, you can present gay if you want, if you want to play hairdressers for the rest of your life. That's because that was like what was available to you. It's like, if you want to be gay, that's great, but then you better be ready to be in that niche of gay roles, which is like sassy, like like very gay, whatever the hell that means. There weren't a lot of mainstream media roles. I think there's a lot more now. I think there's kind of... I think there's a lot more now. I think I almost hesitated at first. And I was like, oh my God, no, it's so much better, actually. That doesn't mean that there's, but there's no still difficulties. Huge. Yeah. In regards to this show... Yeah. How was that for you at the time, playing a romantic lead in a famous heterosexual romance and, you know, the pressures of of that? And did you feel like you had to hide that you were gay? And It was a very interesting experience doing this show and being gay because I was fully out in my yeah, in your life. life, but I had no fan base no one who didn't know me really cared who I was so having an influx of people who are just getting to know you 
Um, and getting to know and, you in a very specific context. Yeah. And this was like, I had barely had an Instagram at this point. Um, and so and boy, I, nice. And I think I started a Twitter for this show because people were like, you should start a Twitter. Cause I was like, I don't want a Twitter. And they were like, you should start a Twitter because you're going to have fans and they're going to want to connect with you and I was like oh okay if you were not already on Twitter Bernie would have been like you're joining Twitter and here's what you're going to do and and so I think I I did start it for that so there was no like public facing stuff and I don't think I was dating anyone so there was no like public facing thing for people who are now following me to be like ah oh, of course this person's gay in real life I think besides the cultural stuff and the like acting whatever which is like don't let people know you're gay I wasn't like trying not to let people know I was gay. But when the show started too, or when my episode started airing, I was like, oh, this is, the reason I wanted to talk about this for this episode, this episode talks about verisimilitude, right? The appearance of being real. And mm -hmm. that to me, our show, I mean, that was obviously a meta moment about, like where we're kind of referencing our show too, which our show had that verisimilitude, this appearance kind right, of- Right, pretending this, this is real, that these are real people. The characters have. are tweeting out mm -hmm. at, in real time. And so I felt this weird pressure, like if I piped up to be like, by the way, I'm gay in real life. It felt like it would be like dishonoring the veris <laughs> verisimilitude of- of the show at the moment. And I guess I was thinking more about that than I was thinking about like representation at the time. Cause I was like, this thing is like living and breathing as we go. And I don't want to pipe up and be like, I'm gay right now because I don't know. So it was also weirdly dark for me cause I felt a little bit mm -hmm. in the closet when I had already come out. And this just never came up ultimately. And I didn't address it either way for a while. And luckily the fans were not like, Hey, are you gay? I mean, some people were like, are you and Ashley dating? A lot of people were doing that, which was... That makes sense. Yeah. I mean, it's a weird, it's weird. Because like, I also, at, during this time, you know, realized very quickly early on in, in the process that I didn't want to share a lot of things about my personal life, but that people f would feel entitled to it. And I, I don't know why. I felt like, also because I was coming in later to the show, I felt like more of a pressure not to break that illusion sure. in some way sure and such an anticipated character but yeah i remember people yeah. were real nosy about our uh were we dating and they, it was it that part was very uncomfortable for me at least i don't know i assume for you because i remember they were doing things like really combing through our instagrams and they decided that your roommate was your girlfriend oh yeah <laughs> And so, right, because like, there were like pictures of you together and right. and they were like, oh, well, that must be the girlfriend. So I remember there being posts somewhere where the fans were saying like, I hope Ashley and Daniel are really dating and someone else going like, well, is it wrong to wish for that? Because, because Daniel has a girlfriend and, and right. I'm like, look, all of the, you don't have enough power that you can wish for something and make it happen anyway. <laughs> like, well, I so, mean, but to a certain extent, we... You know, we like that people have fantasy lives about this and stuff, but we didn't have yeah. like the skills or resources to have boundaries, <laughs> really. And I don't know how you learn that without it's going so through it. Because it was a very, yeah, I mean, we didn't have any kind of like media training or, or protection from it. But it is also such a unique show. You know, yeah. I think that when people are watching things on their television, that they understand a little bit more the separation. I mean, not that people are not real life shipping actors all the time, but there is an immediacy and an intimacy of the direct address. People the feel YouTube like they were- The YouTube of it all. The YouTube because... of it all. Other YouTubers are real people and there is like, you know, relationships and drama happening that, that does sometimes get aired like, on, on YouTube on or show, social media. On Netflix, you watch Netflix on wherever you watch it, you don't then scroll down and engage on the comments on your Netflix show. Exactly, exactly. Maybe you have find to go... a Facebook group, but like this was right. like You've... official YouTube where we put it up. And right, then like some was... of the comments saying, are Ashley so... and Daniel dating are below and you're like... the, the episodes. And it's funny because like, 
people will ask me a lot, like, do you think it's wrong to ship real people? And I'm like, I don't think it's wrong to have thoughts. I think yeah. it's wrong to bother people. Like, <laughs> don't tag me. <laughs> if you're going to, if you want to have that conversation online, like if you want to fantasize that I'm dating somebody else, I don't really care because it does not actually have any impact on my right. life. But I don't want to hear about it because it's weird. It's weird that that's something that you were thinking about. I mean, there's just a weirdness to it all, of course, because we're like creating a fantasy by making a show. And right, but like we're course, storytellers. Like... I get getting really invested in the story and wanting then, to like the, the fan fiction of it all, wanting to continue right, right. the story and have Characters. more romance for the characters i totally get that like that's weird because then the actors become characters too right yeah character <laughs> but in all of the sort of is shipping real people problematic you in your head turning real people into fictional characters like i guess we could sort of have a debate about that but ultimately like you're allowed to have whatever thoughts you have just like keep keep them keeping yourself <laughs> Or talk to your guess, weird friends about it. <laughs> this is the but time. don't tag me. Is all yeah. I'm just just don't tag me. Should we watch? But that? We adore each other, and uh, in a very different way than Lizzie and Darcy. And yes, let's take a look back. Huh? I'm ready. Okay. Beautiful freeze frame. This became an iconic outfit. I know. I love. And it's partly though. because you're going to see all of it, which meant that I actually put a lot of thought <laughs> into the fact that I was going to stand up. <laughs> Yeah, because I the, do that very standing, rarely in the show. Standing up, dis despite my experience on the first few episodes where I got to stand up in all of them, uh, mm -hmm. it rarely happened in the show for, at yeah, least I for mean, Ashley. For me, the least amount, right? Because like yeah. I, other everyone else is coming into my Ray shots, Gates but I. And... Yeah, there's a very early episode in which I'm wearing flip flops, which I would absolutely <laughs> not have been in my own home, right? Like I should have been barefoot, and flip flops don't go with the outfit. I just didn't realize anyone would see my feet. And then I after that, I thought about it a lot. Said, you know what? Shoes it is. Um, I I love this outfit too, or this episode too, because I also get to wear a very iconic outfit for myself. Um, well, at this point, like we knew. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's and, calling it iconic is funny because it's like the simplest. But there's like character. art of this exact moment because this is also the moment where we really get to highlight the height difference. So I made sure to wear flats. I made sure that I was wearing flat boots so that they could see how much taller. Whereas you don't look as tall here because again, I'm on a taller box. This is where my my uh, audition outfit mm -hmm. paid off. Mm -hmm. I, would, I wore basically this, but with no tie um, because I was like, you know what? When you pay for it, you'll get the tie. You'll get the tie. You'll get, well, I'll get the tie, but. Um, but I loved this because also, obviously, I wear the newsy hat in it. I think the only time in the actual show. Correct. I mean, and this is like the most, like, not the most meta thing we do on the show because we do a lot of meta stuff on the show. But it's a really fun kind of, you know, I mean, even the title of the episode, hyper mediation in media. Like, we're, and this is also such a Margaret Dunlap episode. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it and is. She actually did request to do it, and I was like, sorry, <laughs> DBG got it first. Did. But but we love it so much because of her great writing. And so I'm yes. just gonna I, I, honor. I love Margaret. I love that. her so much. And uh one of the reasons I want to do this episode <laughs> is because honestly, before this episode, you're kinda of like, why would Lizzie like Darcy? I mean Sure, he, he's right. a good heart, but he's so boring. But this know? is some of the most like comedic stuff you get to do in the ways that Darcy gets to be funny. Well, he at least gets to like uh, show his heart a little bit and like go out. And on he's the in on the. Well, I didn't think it was my place. Bit. He's in on the joke. And also, like the. Right. I mean, that's the commentary that that we're making. That by make, doing something artificial, we can sometimes get to. The heart. The truth that, mm -hmm. more. And so we're talking in code and pretending we're, I mean, we're playing versions of ourselves. It's very, it's very clever. I mean, it's, it is just so Margaret, but then we 
have a real conversation here. And I know it's funny because you uh, realize, I think, in this episode also how much uh, how much how much problems are created when people just don't actually talk to each other about. Yeah. You know, like I mean, doesn't that just- sum up this? whole show like lizzie does a lot of talking but not to darcy and she doesn't do a lot of listening and that's a problem with darcy and lydia um jane jane and bing don't talk to each other right you know and that's kind of their uh downfall it's like Mm -hmm. just Mm -hmm. takes off and they probably they probably could i mean you're you don't help but yes well yeah but if they just talk to each other rather than i still don't know what that indiscretion is by the way oh well, I, I'll tell you about it. Okay, it's probably it's probably in the book or in mm-hmm. the moments, but yeah. Wait, look at this part. Look at this part. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does Bing still care about Jane? How was that? Was that all right? Yeah. That was a, mm-hmm. a big heaping mm-hmm. dose of subtext for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also, it's so hard because like we're trying to do these like intense looks with each other that normally you'd get better coverage on. But I still think we, we made it work. You can see the electricity flying between us. Well, there are, yeah, it, it's, I mean, the other reason I, oh, Bye. I love our goodbyes on the show, honestly. They're, you can probably just do a montage of me leaving the frame. But. <laughs> I think one reason I also, since we're talking about gay stuff on this episode. Gay um, stuff. Gay stuff with Daniel Vincent Gordon, Ashley Clements. If I was like a better editor and a Charlotte, I would just have like an animated rainbow come across. Yeah. Right here. With RuPaul coming out and um, some sparklers. But one thing that was also on my mind is, I. <laughs> this is probably so stupid, but I'll, I'll vulnerably share it. I, I like didn't want to come out and like make people think that we didn't have chemistry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was like, we do have chemistry, and chemistry we have great is not, chemistry. And chemistry is not all about like your sexuality. I mean, and your sexuality. I also is not have great sex. chemistry with the girls, though. Like that's why right. we did chem reads with everybody. Like those are all different types of chemistry. But also, like, I think that you and I as actors did palpably create a romantic and sexual tension between the two of them that does not require the two of us to be sexually attracted to each other. That's, that's acting. Like you can, I can be gay and Ashley can be straight and we can create sexual tension in a scene. Mm -hmm. Like that, those are not mutually exclusive, but it feels, you know, it feels like, they are. The way people talk about chemistry is it's this kind of thing that's there or it's not there. And there's an element of that that is true. Like there are things that between different people and different actors that bring out different things in each other that you can't manufacture. But when I'm teaching acting, I say it is your job to have chemistry with your scene partner. And you absolutely can act whatever you're getting from them. Act like it's insanely attractive to you that you can do that. I mean, I've also played opposite straight men that I was not attracted to. And not had like, chemistry with. Not had chemistry yeah. with, my God. But so the fact that you and I do really enjoy each other and we play off each other, like chemistry is a lot of different things. And also like sexuality is a lot of different things. Everything just isn't so black and white. For all we know, Darcy could be bisexual. Darcy could be into dudes. Like, and why couldn't we have a Darcy who's into dudes who's obsessed with Lizzie? Like all of these things could be true. There are just many ways to be a person and- (laughs) There are many ways to be a person. There are many ways to be a person. Yeah, it turns out there's like 7 billion. Yeah, but that's just, that's just the current number, right? There's a butt ton of people. Out there. It's a lot of people and every one of them's different. But the idea that like that we need to put everybody into these boxes is is obnoxious anyway. I don't know. I think maybe I would do it differently if I did it again. More because I think it it had certain costs to me. Yeah. But I still want to have compassion for the version of myself who decided that at the time I wanted it to feel as real as possible for the people watching it. Because I didn't lie in any big ways where I felt like 
I was selling myself out, but I do think there were costs to me of being, feeling like I was in the closet again. That mm-hmm. was just triggering for me. It was a weird position that we were all in. So much about watching the show involves me having to have compassion for my 10, 10 years ago self because like, it's also, a, a, there's a lot of things I would do differently now. And I think that we all did the best that we could with what we had. And eventually, you know, you have very subtly implied on your social media that you're gay. How dare you? But I remember when, whenever the first time was that you did something that was kind of undeniably, undeniably gay. I feel like it was before that. I feel like maybe it was like a, I don't know. I just remember. I, I posted about it at some point. Yeah, like, I mean, you posted about it. Yeah. You know, obviously a, a lot. But I, I do remember time there being a fan response of like, we love our gay Darcy. Yeah. Gay Darcy. Well, let's take a look at the comments and see how they're enjoying our sexual dungeon. Elizabeth Espinoza says, Darcy finishing Dr. Gardner's theory is Lizzie Bennett's version of dirty talk. You can see it in her eyes. That's true. Cap- I know. She's I mean, there's like, so much like, like of these two being smart with each other and that being hot. Which is yeah, funny. there's a sapiosexual element to this yeah. relationship. Is that when you find someone's brain hot? I think wit, right? Something like that? Yeah, I like it. Brain? Captain Liv says, I like how Darcy just has an emergency bow tie and hat in his office. I mean, yeah, what if he spilled on his tie? Exactly. And that I'm sure he cap has... is in regular rotation. Regular rotation. I'm sure he has uh, several dress shirts ready to go. I mean, think about like, you know, high powered executive offices. Part of me is imagining Darcy fist pumping as soon as he leaves the room after he agrees to do the thing. Like, yes, OMG, OMG, Lizzie wants me to do custom theater with her OMG. This is so romantic, OMG. I think Darcy, even as soon as he closed the door, is more restrained in his emotions than that. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think he's just having a... <laughs> Nina D says, the sexual tension between them is even better than in the actual books. I cannot even. I'll take it. I have, I have not, honestly, I have nothing to add to that. It's true. We're better than the books. <laughs> yeah, the books are trash. We're um, just two no. incredibly hot people being hot. <laughs> well, I will say, Ashley, you are very charming and funny as, as Lizzie. Thank you. You and, are very charming and well, lovable in well, all iterations. But you make... But I have... You make the socially awkward Darcy one that everyone just wants to protect to use the internet speak. You know, it's funny. I was watching one of your Darcy bot malfunction moments Mm. and like, I see your sister is well. And I just tried to like do it myself. myself, And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. I can see how (laughs) I can see how I I would be. I can see how that would happen. Well, you were well cast. Um, thank you for having me. I'm thrilled that we could get to some verisimilitude with our gay Darcy, who I adore. And uh, we'll have you we'll have you come back. It's been an honor to serve as your gay Darcy. 